Hello, this is Crafty, it's Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Galactic New Horizons Season 2. And in this episode, we're gonna do something interesting. We're gonna do some auto crafting with applied energy sticks because we already had some auto crafting set up, but it's not usable for our system anymore. So, yeah. That's aside. Let's also show some small changes around here. First, uh, let's look at the controller setup. I changed the design a bit and it's actually better, better, much better, much better. I couldn't able to connect those those to the quartz fiber, so uh, there there's something like that here actually. Let's make it more symmetrical. And, uh, yeah, it would be much more symmetrical, so yeah, that fixes it, and yeah, that's it. Also, I crafted some stuff, and yeah. So, what we're gonna do is, first, a multi-block that we actually kinda sorta placed, and this multi-block, let's look at the design it's quite simple and let's place it here and i want to place some input buses here i placed four because they they are all going to be different and let's also dig this area i'm gonna need a high voltage transformer and also Let's F7. Yep, uh, we're gonna need a torch. Actually, no. Let's do this. Uh, it would be simple. And I'm gonna need a transformer. Uh, do I have any transformer here? Transformer. Yep, high voltage transformer. And aluminium cable. Uh, for X should do. Also, one more change change here. I placed a an insane voltage uh, battery buffer because I made it because and I got those two guy uh, those guys from a loot box and replace this guy with a H H H S S G cable. It normally. Uh, uh, does carry uh, carries the LUV power, but we can actually uh, provide IV power. So it's currently actually carries the IV power, and I transform here, and yep, that's that. And let's get this uh, transformer here. And I will just temporarily take you and transformer. Transformers. And energy hatch. Come here. Thank you. And with that, it's also done. We can just cover this area now. And let's place the rest of the blocks. Uh, we need muffler hatch, energy hatch, output hatch, and some input hatches. And I'm gonna wall share this guy with his brother. Uh, this guy has a really interesting uh, thing going on and has problems. Okay, it's... wait. Something is stuck. Okay. And I'm doing things. Oh, we have two normal hammers. I'm gonna need the soft mallets. Uh, I forgot the soft mallets here. And why I didn't use the the new thingy? Yeah. Come here, soft mallet. And workshop. Thank you. And it's fine. Now, 
what we're gonna do is you are one, you are two, you are three, and you are ten. I think we are also gonna need uh, some other and HV output. Well, so okay. Now, what we're gonna do is ah, I first show you something. This is currently in uh, normal mode. Uh, bending mode and it's now a forming press but I want this as a bending machine and the other one that will placed here will be the other one the forming press and let's take some aluminiums and place those aluminiums in here and if I start this it's done <laughs> <laughs> it's done and let's try the batch mode i wonder what happens in the batch mode let's get some iron yeah all 64 of them at once <laughs> ah i love multi-blocks i really love multi-blocks guys anyway that's actually done. Oh, now what we are going to need to do is automate this stuff. But before automating it, actually, let's just show you. First, we need to provide a P2P channel here. Okay, I placed the P2P channels like this. I have something in my mind uh, for the arrangement. Anyway, let's place the interfaces and this interface is uh actually no yeah hide in the interface terminal and yeah anyway this is the in, uh input to our system so let's do this and i think i should uh, if I remember correctly, I I have a way of uh, re renaming these guys, uh, but I don't know how. Yeah, let's look at here. Uh, interfaces, interfaces. Uh, yeah, if you are using uh, interface which doesn't show up properly, you'll need to delete. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think there should... I can use the ring... Name station, yeah, something like that. Uh, name, uh, if I remember correctly, or just an anvil, or that's memory cards. Can I use the network tool? Network tool. No, 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 it's not. It's not. So, let's actually use the naming thing with uh, Anvil. Magic, come here. And Anvil. And let's rename those guys. You will be... Ah, you're gonna need XP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's name you as. Uh, let me think of something. Okay, HV bending uh, circuit one, and uh, I have to take the XP every single time. And HV ba HV bending C zero two. And C01, C02, okay. And that would be our naming scheme, I guess. I'm probably going to replace it C03 and last one. You're gonna be C C10. Yep. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, and Let's get back here. Workshop. 
and C zero ten uh, C ten, you will be here. Three, uh, you're actually three. Yes, two and one, and the output, and you're gonna hide in the interface ter terminal, and let's place those, and if you look at it. Yeah, I just need to connect this guy, and you will you will connect here. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's your workshop, your storage. Okay, you're unnamed. Let's name you. How how should I name you? I'll. Uh, Okay, let's name you Autocraft One and bind this. Yep, it's that. And it's now connected to our system. And if I look at the interface terminal, I can see the interfaces here. And let's close here. And then we are going to cover everything with uh, our trusty thingy magigis. Now, let's do something. We have black patterns here. And uh, black patterns whoops, are crafted like this. It's actually simple. It's actually quite simple. And let's place them here. And... Or, use this as okay pattern terminal and i'm gonna do something like this uh, uh for example steel ingots i'm gonna take like steel no normal steel okay and okay our diction clear use as Allow crafting as yes. okay. There should be ah okay processing better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Steel ingots and yep, sixty four. Actually, no, sixty four is a bit. Let's let's take. I'm trying to take more. Okay. Let's take six, 32. Let's take 32. Yeah, 32 for a steel plate. Actually, I can make this uh, like this. And steel plates, where are you? Like steel plates, shadow steel plate, dance. Okay, well, let's try it. No, I cannot use these. Steel plate, where are you? And let's use this and bending machine. Bending machine, alloy smelter, compressor, a late wire mill extruder, four chamber bending machine. Yes. And so let's do this and 32 of these. And then take this and 64 of these and. And let's come here, uh, Amora version. Okay, great version. And you're gonna give me 16. And you're also gonna give me, actually, you're gonna give me eight. Yeah, that should be nice middle ground. And let's give this. And first pattern is ready. Second pattern. Uh, actually, yeah, I have to use this. And 64. Okay, thank you. And I selected the wrong uh, thingy, so let's fix it. Okay. And of course, this and oh, I can place this. But no, I don't. Okay. 
let's do 32 and 16 and 24 and 8. Okay, now let's look at the patterns. Uh, this is circuit 1. And it's here. This is circuit 10. This is circuit 2. And this is circuit 3. And now, if I, for example, try to uh, steal... Yep, we can craft. And if I try to take... 64 next we do not have a crafting cpu available yep we do not have now it's time to make our crafting cpu available to our system and i'm gonna need actually one more storage so let's make the storage too and that should be uh, quite trivial and so what we're gonna need ah okay those guys uh four of those guys where are you thank you and thank you and if i place this with this it will give me the other one now time to Oh, place those guys. I guess here. And the last one will be here. Uh, also, I made a bunch of Lepatron crystal and one Lepatron spur capacitor and one Lepatron energy orb. Uh, I'm trying to get, get ready for our energy upgrade. And the CPU is ready. And let's make another cable way to here and another P2P tunnel. And we are connected our thingy to here. And let's color these. I will eventually going to color everything. And yeah, main net network is white and the sub network, it, the this carrying network is uh, cyan. So now, if I look at the look at here and steel plate, uh, let's take sixty four next. Yep, we have a crafting CPU, and let's start it. And it will go here, and it will output. And now, if I look at the system, we have 64 steel plates. Yep, oh, we are fu fully automated to st uh, plate production. And yeah, that's actually amazing. Now, what we're going to ne also need is automate other stuff. Yeah, uh, besides steel, we are going to need actually use some other... Uh, multi-blocks but yeah wire factory controller this is going to take a while because i first re-automate the circuits actually i can batch craft some but yeah and actually that would be super useful that would be amazingly useful and other than that we're also yeah that this guy is totally important uh, really important and this is gonna save us a lot uh, this is extruder this is literally an extruder and uh, we're gonna use this guy a lot and uh, good thing about it is uh, it's 250 uh, percent faster than single block and if we look at it, uh, this is 200% faster than single block at the same voltage and only uses 75% of the e total EU that uh, the EU required. That's f this is 500% faster. Yeah. <laughs> and 
Oh, by the way, uh, we tested with the circuit one and uh, still played. Let's actually let's make one and it's it will just make uh, 32. And let's wait. And it's done. We got plates. We have every single plate that uh, that we are going to need. And so I'm probably going to expand this guy a bit more. And yeah, I can add two, actually a few more, a few more, uh, and so yeah, that will be our system uh, from now on. I will add a sister to next to it, and it will be the pattern thingy. And now, for now, I think I can actually take those guys, um, some of those guys, the plates are not needed anymore. And the assemblers actually can be done in single assembler. Or I can use the Applied Energy 6 own thing. Uh, let's show you this guy. Applied Energy 6. Yeah. Molecular assembler. It requires an uh, EV assembler. But... Yeah, this will. This is actually a crafting table, and so there's our cane assembler. Nice and uh, large molecular. Okay, that's something to keep in mind, and it's actually IV. That would be super useful. I wasn't aware of that, and it, it basic. Okay, the first two over overclock. Okay, that's actually quite useful. I will uh, read on this guy a bit more. And what we're gonna do in the uh, between the episodes are I'm going to replace all all of my auto crafting. Wait, uh, I'm actually the the most necessary auto crafting with uh, apply energy six one, and then we will be on our way. Uh, to finish up the rest of the stuff and so let's close this area and press f7 to see any uh, lighting issue yeah it's it seems it uh, we don't have any yet so this is how we're what we're going to do and before the leave please do not uh, forget to comment and like the video uh, it's actually quite important, especially for the YouTube algorithm, and I need to find a better way of uh, ending the videos with that, or actually a better way to start the video, I guess. Uh, give me a feedback about that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is Skirte Skirte, and have an amazing day.